Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy along with Bill for some more Wrestle Quest. We're just gonna try this again, and I don't know if I really learned how to do this, uh, but I did. I don't under, I don't understand how it was done, but I'm, I know how to how to beat this now. Okay. So we should be able to progress in this game. Bill, how are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm ready to see how we beat this trio. I I'm all right. So for some reason, I feel like the walkthrough I watched has constant elbow drops, but specifically from the top to the bottom. Huh. Oops. Uh, let me lower the volume a little bit on our end here. Now, of course, the what's his face, the brute, the brooder, the brooder, right? He'll just keep using brooder boot, which is what I was doing, except I will now just focus on the top down. Makes sense. It doesn't though. I don't, I don't really get it, but let's see if yeah. it works. We'll see if it, what if it works. Uh, so. Bill, I want to talk more about Tough Enough, because I've gone through Tough Enough a little bit more since we last were on. And I have a kind of a hot take, and I want to know what you think of this. Okay. Season 2. Kenny should have won, not Jackie. I agree. I totally agree. I thought he was the best of the guys. I think they did the... Nothing against Jackie, but I thought they did that twist... I think part of it might have been MTV. The other part might have been, oh, we felt really bad, so we're going to screw the guys over. Right. Well, the other thing was, here's why I'm saying that I don't believe, I don't think Jackie should have won. And, and, it's, and it's easy to think back in hindsight because I think a lot of people ultimately remember Jackie for having that terrible match on Raw. Mm -hmm. And... The reason I don't think she should have won is... And do you, how much do you remember of season two? I remember she cheated on her boyfriend during the season. Oh my god, I forgot how much there was of, of that in this in this, uh, in this this show. Um, but yes, you're correct with that. Now, I don't think I could save the Brooder at all, so he's just going to die. I think. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so the, the boyfriend, there was a lot that, that, that was with the boyfriend. She cheated on the boyfriend. Uh, he wouldn't, I mean, like I said, that was a major, major story. Mm -hmm. But also, towards the end, she got injured, too. Oh, okay. And she was on, uh, I think she had to wear a knee brace or whatnot. And this is down for when it was like the last, oh wow, Bruder's still alive. I'm surprised. Okay. Hold Can on. you give him tape or no? You know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. I'll give him the 300 one. Because the main person I need here is the elbow drop and Muchacho Man. That's that's from what I gather from this. And again, I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. So anyway, going back to... So she was injured pretty late in the game. Now, yes, it should be commended that she did try to do her, you know, work, you know, workouts or whatnot, mm -hmm. just not on that knee or ankle or whatever it was. I don't I actually remember. But, right. but to me, like, everyone else had to do their regular stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't fair to the rest of them that were still there, that she got to do this and... Well, they put in all the work, and then she won. And it's not her fault she got injured, obviously. Exactly. But I'm just saying, I it just... Rewatching, I was like, no, Kenny should have won. I forgot who the other guy was, but I don't think he should have won, though. Um, as the second person. He, he didn't... Yeah, he didn't do too much, I think, in wrestling after Tough Enough. So... All right, so now let's. I guess this is becoming unofficial. Uh, although it's probably going to be the last one we talk about tough enough. Uh, the last video, so I did watch season three as well. Okay. Which I didn't remember much of season three at all. What do you remember from season three? Uh, I 
obviously... Hey, you the, won! I know. I don't understand it, but I won. And once again, uh, Slimy does nothing. Obviously, the whole thing with Hardcore Holly and Matt Capitelli. Um, I also remember Bill DeMont crying. Yeah, he lost his trainer someone. Died. Right, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, this is you, I think. Oh, this is just wrong. Betrayed by one of our own. Tell me about it. This is it the finale, Bruder. It's not even the interlude. Come on, Hermanos. See, for some reason, you have to make your way from the top down. So what was all... Get it, dude. Just some unsettled business that doesn't concern you. Forget it. I'll be long gone in, and into wrestling greatness before they come back. Wrestling greatness, huh? Fat chance. In the sound of it. The elephant doesn't need you in a, in his PAW roster. Besides, the elephant is expanding his control and influence throughout the other leagues. Soon, there won't be a wrestling match that goes down without a script from him first. Dios mio! All wrestling matches would be scripted. That would ruin the sport. Uh, dude. I swear upon my spice that I will save wrestling from this fiend. Whatever, dude. Look, I'm ready to roll as soon as you are. Anything keeping you here in this stinkhole? I should probably say goodbye to Jimmy for helping me so much. And Barbe. I'll be right back. Follow the smoke to the north, then... Follow the smoke to the north? Follow the smoke to the north. Follow the smoke to the north. Follow, 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 follow the smoke to the north. Do you smell... Is that fire? Uh oh. Oh boy. Did so oh and now there's no music and hmm. uh, it's serious it's serious shit. Yeah, but what does knobs have to say about it? <laughs> Box one <laughs> in the BW sure do love extreme It's the same thing. You're not phased by uh everything going on here and the sirens? Okay, got knobs. <laughs> Your dog just ran away. I'm ready for B E W. <sighs> Yeah, there's like no music and it's really weird. Oh, let me guess the um I'm gonna guess the school burnt down. You might be right. There it is. I don't remember who Principal Robbie was. Uh, I guess I'll be. Okay. No, no, no. This can't be happening. My organization It's a school. It's I don't know if I'd call it an organization. When a wise man dies, it is like a library being burned. When a school is burned, it's like... Ah, Lorem Ipsum. I can't think of anything. This sucks. Slimy, what do you want about? Oh, it's I, I move now. What am I supposed <laughs> to do? What are you supposed to do? I don't know. Barbe? Oh, here we go. Cool. Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy, it's horrible! I know, and it's about to get even get worse. Barbe, you might want to sit down. This is the elephant's doing. What? One of my crew heard his driver talking about it over at Twisties. Apparently, the elephant wants to snub out the local matches here in Boxwood and elsewhere. Said that he wouldn't. He said that he would not abide any wrestling matches that weren't under the PAW umbrella. That tusk-licking, peanut-brained pachyderm totally done messed with the wrong town now. He's never seen a boxwood girl get real, has he? I'm gonna... Easy, doctor. You're tripping and slipping into vernacular. Oh, right. Sorry. But where will our kids go now? How can I turn boxwood around without the school? Oh, muchacho man. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, about to say goodbye, I thought. Actually, I came to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> really? At a time like this? You're just going to leave? What do you want me to do? Fix up an entire school and rebuild it? 
Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. What? You told me to keep my nose out of your business. Now you want me to stay? I mean, I don't feel like she never... I don't know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> right. I said that before. Wait, what do you mean goodbye? Wait, that's... I, I found a way out of town. I mean, it's not hard. Just go east. Anyway, I'm going to find the elephant, too. You selfish son of a glue stick. You two-bit knockoff. <laughs> you cheap imitation. You know what? You little traitor, you. I'm coming with you. Wait, wouldn't that be that you're betraying your people then, too? Yeah, really. Okay. If you're going to get closer to the elephant, I'm coming with you. Even if you want to kiss his trunk instead of kick his face. What? <laughs> I don't want to impress him. Not anymore. <laughs> I, I set out to be the greatest hero wrestling has ever known. How can I do that if this elephant is destroying wrestling with intimidation and manipulation? What about you, Jimmy? Coming with me to fight back for Boxwood? I mean, he's the guy that doesn't want to leave. And for wrestling? You're Boxwood's golden boy, aren't you? Come and fight for our town, Jimmy. You know what? You're crazy. You think you could just take on the elephant? Get serious, Barbe. He controls everything. This fire proves that. Nobody can touch him. Better to stay here, shop what I can, and watch wrestling. I'm going to go watch World War III next. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm hearing this. Fine, Jimmy, stay here. I'll just leave town with this turncoat jalapeno here. Wow. Hey, easy with the pepper jokes, medica. I'm not that type of doctor. And to think I was starting to forget it. Let's go. Okay, but first we need to go talk to my new friend, who is my old enemy. Who is also squatting at the gym right now? Who works out at this time of night? What? No, not that type of squatting. Uh, Wait, then what type of squatting are you talking about? Yeah, what type of squatting <laughs> are you talking about? You talking about in the in the bathroom? Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, sorry. <clears throat> wait a minute. Who is she? I'm Dr. Barbe Jones educator with a mission and one steamed up teacher does that work for you or do i have to correct the way you spell your name uh yeah sure man the more the merrier thank you well amigos let's do this i'm not convinced that we're losing toy box jimmy me either We're switching then, I guess. Yep, so now I'm Brink. Yeah, I'm back to yep, Brink. you're Brink. Let, let's see. Gloves, check. Gun oil, check. Visor shades, check, check. Am I Selene? Yeah, you were Selene. Oh, I was. Okay, so. Uh, diary, rubber ducky, comfort blanket, check, check, check. Rubber ducky. Careful, sis, or I'll be putting you in a bag next. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I just want to come and say congratulations. And goodbye. I'm gonna miss you, Celine. Hey, tell you what. Why don't I come see some of your matches on the indie circuit? Really? You mean it? <laughs> Definitely. A big star like me showing up ought to draw a lot of attention for you. No, wait a minute. Have we decided Brink is Hulk Hogan or Bret Hart? He's Bret Hart for sure, but because oh, he, okay. I gotta change. but okay. I mean, I, what's a Bret Hart voice sound like? Anyway, I, I love, love you, bro. Well, it's still Celine. Okay, I know, I know. <laughs> there you go. Here you I, go. I love you too, sis. <laughs> Give you a a boot. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Did they take away all my money because of a... No, see, that's the weird thing. That So I still have all my money that I have, even though I earned none of it as Brink Logan. 
Right. You know what the you know what's really funny? I think if hold on, go ahead, let's do this first. I should say goodbye to Ma and Pa before I leave. I think they're in the kitchen. A big time. I just think one of the funniest things is right now, this story seems to be like the elephant is the main villain. Mm-hmm. And the elephant's voice <laughs> sounds like this. So when yeah. we get really intense parts, I gotta go like this still. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's say goodbye to Stu. I mean, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiger. I think you we were Ma. No, I only I'm did. Paul. Oh, that's right. Okay. So okay. Oh, I don't think I bothered with Ma because I was like, he's not gonna say much. Ah, right. uh, there he is. There's the big superstore now. I came to say goodbye, and well, I. Don't worry, son. We are all so proud of you. Even family is never easy, son. But we all have to do it from uh, time to time. You build something that can last. Just uh, make sure you keep your family in the proper priority. Let uh, me give you an example. When I was uh, starting NCW, it meant a lot of long days and uh, long nights. Your father worked himself ragged in the early days. But I uh, always make time for you and your sister. And your mother. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> Based on wow. wrestling's past, I don't know if I believe right. that. How? <laughs> How did you balance all that? That's right. Yeah, I want a, I want a cross examination from father to son right now. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't about balance. It was about sacrifice. I uh, just spent less of my time on myself. I stayed true to the dream. I had uh, for CW and uh, family. Always keeping that long-term vision. And just uh, look how it turned out. NCW is thriving. My son is going to the big time. And my wife is better looking than ever. Hey, now. What? I'm uh, trying to say, son, is uh, that I worked hard. Always tried to do the right thing. Never worried about myself. And uh, always served the family. And it's given us a great life. I uh, hope that makes sense to you. We love you, son. Well, now get going. L. F. Font is waiting for you down at the ferry. Confirmed. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I love you, too. Alright, so now let's go down to the ferry. They did say ferry, right? Yeah, they said ferry. Because I can't you wait to... Got yeah. It. I was gonna say I can't you know, wait it, to it see. Had it. A bar. They didn't have a bar. Yeah, it had a bar. Oh, that's weird. Um, Stag, who was Stag? Me? I think so. All right. Oh, I guess I probably talked like this. Ready to do this cock? Co oh, cuz. Who <laughs> <I> say cocks? <laughs> I thought that that Z was an X. <laughs> Ready to do this cuz? I think it was literally packaged for this. Let's go. LF Font is down at the ferry to the southeast. What kind of ferry ride is going to be in this cold weather? It's probably all ice. I know. Unless the weather got better. You know, because that damn wrestling promotion... Nope, it didn't. But that damn mm -hmm. wrestling promotion that controls the weather was messing around with us. Yeah. Can I go this? Nope, that's a dead end. Oh, uh, there's a fox in the snow. I, uh, I played with a fox. No. Oh, there he is. I want to see there, if he does there something. He is. I wanted to say bye to him, but uh, he went into his foxhole. What did the fox say? <laughs> he said, uh, get me out of this move. Oh. I was hoping you were going to say, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, you know what I want you to do at some point when you um, are Brink Logan and you're talking as, as Brett... I want you to give a uh, Bill Goldberg insult. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wait. Hold on. So, I was who was Elephant? See, I don't. You're Elephant. See, was I was I the the holding my nose for Elephant or yeah. the Elephant? I think you're doing it for both. 
No, fine. No, elephant. Ah, here they come now. The honest bucks. Ready for your first assignment? Hey there, Mr. Font. We're always ready for work. Unlike that Bill Goldberg. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they climb aboard, lads. I'll brief you on the way. Bald-headed son of a bitch. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess the, the ice is no problem. Not really. A either of you two know anything about the MWL? This, this is you, yeah. That's the abbreviation for my waifu life. <laughs> that new VR game, right? It stands for made with love, just like all my slap shots. Uh, I'll take the second one. That's what it stands for, my made for made with love. Yeah. Okay. It's the military wrestling league, a promotion that operates out of the glory fields, a war board game area. They've been winding back their output though for the past couple years. Correct, Brink. Uh, fortunately, it looks like they're going to be winding it back even further. The MWL is halting its operations. They're dissolving the promotion. But why? Apparently, they're pulling back on all kinds of programs. Deactivating the MWL as part of the cutbacks. Wait, hold on. <laughs> cutbacks mean like you just have to, you know, do money to stay afloat. Isn't deactivating yeah. the entire promotion kind of not doing that? It's just closing it? Yeah. Anyway... PAW and some representatives from other promotions are going to do a grand send-off, a sort of thank you for your service retirement slam. You boys will be a part of that show. Looking forward to it, sir. I'll give you the details when we get to port. I've even got a big surprise in store. Alright. Ah, oh, here we are. The glory fields. I'll meet you boys over at Camp Diet. It's to the southeast. Camp Diet. Hold it, Hold it right there. Okay, you beat oh, him. You, no, no, you can beat him. Hold it right there. Okay, hold it right there, Font. I'm here to take something from you. Your soul. Your bags. Please, sir, let me carry your bags. Wow, it's amazing how one cent has just changed the entire thing of that. Yeah, really. It's the least I could do for how you helped my family. Who are you? I'm Chavo Guerrero Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Matthews, is that you? Yes, sir, it's me. I heard you were coming, and I wanted to come and do anything I could for you. So I take it this guy isn't a threat? Dirk Matthews was a cameraman for PAW for several years. Then I got sick and couldn't work. But Mr. Font continued to pay my salary anyways. The family's waiting in the car. They're dying to talk to you, Mr. Font. Looks like we're in good hands, eh? Affirmative on that, cuz. Ready for the hike to camp diet? I'm ready for anything. We're in P.A.W., baby. Woo! Bill Goldberg needs to be on a diet. <laughs> yeah, no more wrestling for him. That's his <laughs> diet. I uh, had to camp diet in the central part of Gloryfield's continent. Yeah, so that's... I guess it's that way. I guess I was going to try to explore, but I guess it's the only place I am able to go. Anyway, so what do you remember about Tough Enough 3? Um, I'm trying to think what else I remember. That was a waste. I was healed already. Um, um, were the tryouts in Vegas? Yes. Okay, I do remember that. Because Jackie Gata jumped in the pool and so did some other guy that I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I don't remember. I want to check my inventory and see... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, like you mentioned, Bob, the Bob Holly, Matt Capitelli thing happened. Um, 
Yeah, it wasn't very... I felt of the three, so far it probably was the least memorable. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's... Oh, good. Also, I want to mention to everyone, as of right now, this is the... Supposedly the last, um... The last video that's going to be consistent. It's been a kind of a consistent rollout of these videos, but this is episode eight now, so that's probably going to change. Um, however, it might not too. Like there might be one or two more before it just starts becoming me and Bill just get together whenever we, uh, whenever we can to record these. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't expect. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be consistent, but I just want to throw it out there that it might be, the you know, it's, um, like I said, it's, it, it might be, continue for like another couple of episodes, but I'm not going to guarantee it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. All right. I just want to make sure my people have the latest equipment or the best equipment they have. So, like I said, Matt Capitelli, what did you think when you saw all of that with the Matt? With Bob Holly and Matt Capitelli. Oh my god, I thought that was so unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But I was like 17 or 18 at the time. Um, I, I, I thought Matt handled that way better than 99% of people would have. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I thought that was like really unnecessary. And then, like you mentioned, there was uh, the the they. You know what? What really flew out to me with with the whole Jackie Gata and her cheating on her boyfriend is mm. how absolutely brutal her mother was to her on the phone. Oh, I don't remember that. I didn't remember it either until well, I didn't remember the whole uh, the whole Jackie thing anyway. But no, she calls her mom and is like, "What do you?" You know, I don't know what to do. And her mom basically really puts it to her. Like, what are you doing? Are you gonna you just are you ruining your your life and like all of this? And obviously, we know that um, she does not wind up with that guy in the in the end, or at least in her story so far. Right? Because right. isn't she with Charlie Haas? Isn't that what she wound up marrying? Yeah, she ended up marrying Charlie Haas, and they had two or three kids. Okay. I wonder if they're... I'm gonna check if they're still together. Okay. Oh, wow. They had four kids together. Mm. They divorced in 2020. Oh, so they're not together anymore. Mm -mm. Hold on, wait. I think his name was Pete, who she cheated on. Right. Um, is there any chance she's going out with Pete now? I highly doubt it. I don't know. Can you look up what Pete's doing from Tough Enough 3? <laughs> God. Like, I'm going to find that. <laughs> I think I, 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 I feel confident in you. Oh, have you seen the latest picture of Jackie Gata? She did not look good. Oh, really? No, I did not. Yeah, she looks a little, I haven't seen she her looks in a little years. rough. I mean, how old would she, would she be now? She is 42. Okay. You said Pete was the guy's I name? I think so. Pete sounds. I mean, he made it to the finals. Of, like, he made it to wherever they were WWF New York or. Really, this guy? <laughs> I'm looking at a picture of him. I'm like, really? You're gonna cheat with this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure WrestleCraft's gonna help me with this one. Oh, are they? <laughs> okay, here's people who were also in the tryouts of Tough Enough 2. Right. Johnny Nitro. Right. Because he because he ended up in season three. I and he that. wins. He wins with Matt. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shad Gaspard. Yeah, but Shad didn't actually make it in there. No, he didn't, but... Well, he did, but then he couldn't make... He couldn't make the actual show for some reason. One sentence paragraph. Okay. Speaking of flames, the most famous incident of season two was Jackie cheating on her boyfriend with Pete in a drunken hot tub hookup. And in parentheses, on the very same episode, Edge, of all people, arrived at the house to talk to the contestants. I did think about that, actually. <laughs> I did think about that. Oh, that's so funny. You know what else is funny? And I know this is definitely going to date us uh, as far as the, um, when we're recording, but isn't, uh, Matt Hardy and his wife no longer together? Wait, are they? I thought, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I read that somewhere. Or they're, they're in the process of divorcing. Oh, this is new to me. Maybe I'm wrong. You want to look it up real quick and see if I'm wrong? It's a way of not slandering anyone here. Um, okay. I found... Okay, I found Pete. Oh, really? Okay, good. Okay. What's he up to? So, after he was eliminated, he wrestled for Jersey All Pro in 2002 for a few matches. Oh, wow. Okay. He ended up becoming a senior construction project estimator and an associate constructor for the American Institute for Constructors in New Jersey. Okay, good for him. All right, we ended up doing okay. If you're curious about Linda Miles, she's now a substitute teacher in Cincinnati, Ohio. No worry, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh no, Stag lost. side news they, they kind of have a bad oh, do they okay. yeah uh although do i want to read it that's i guess i don't have much of a choice yeah because this battle's uh, probably gonna go on for a little bit more here uh, all right let's see is this about pete what is this about no, this is about Matt and Red. No! Okay. Not, okay. This is a struggle. Matt Hardy here. has been married to Rebby since October 5, 2013. They even celebrated their 10-year anniversary last year. However, rumors have suggested that they are now separated, and amid such rumors, Matt Hardy has finally broken his silence. Rebby Hardy raised concerns among fans with recent TikTok video that seemed cryptic as a message for the new year. In the video, she compiled clips with her family on December 31st, expressing optimism for the upcoming year. However, the video turned, took a sad turn with a photo of Rebby alone in a chair on January 1st, accompanied by the caption, not my video, I mean, not my year. Also, not her video. Notably, she has since deleted the post, adding to the intrigue surrounding her recent social media activity. Since then posted a cryptic... Uh, God, I can't read. She then posted a cryptic video implying that Matt Hardy has been involved with another woman. Amid all the breakup rumors, Matt Hardy took to Twitter and broke his silence on the matter as he commented on an old tweet where he stated that he is good with karma. If karma's a real thing, I'm good with it. Always. Matt and Rebby have four children, namely Evermore, Bartholomew, Wolfgang, and Maxie. Right. We certainly hope the issues between them get resolved eventually, but things don't look so good right now. And that's it. So I guess my point to all of this is 
Looks so if if it's, that's true. Ooh, look what uh Elef Elephant learned. Never forgets. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't even know what it does. Wow, I, I this is a bit rough because I I guess I'm low leveled. That was a tough fight, and that was only the first one in this area. Right. But I can't get and so anyway, my point original point was that how long has Edge been in AEW since that happened? Good point. <laughs> That's my point. Can you imagine? Oh well, he Edge. Adam Copeland is married, I believe, right? Yeah, to Beth Phoenix. Okay. Can you imagine if somehow it winds up that <laughs> Remy hooks up with Adam Copeland? Oh, no. That, that would be a step down for Adam. Hmm. Uh. Don't do it, Adam. Don't you do it. That's all, like I said, that's what I'm trying to say. Edge does it again. Uh, season three. Who else was yeah. in season three that was memorable? Oh, uh, good question. <laughs> Let me look up season three. I'm not convinced all my people have the best stuff, so I'm just checking again. Uh... Oh, you know what else I want to bring up uh, with Tough Enough? I want to know who from the creators of Tough Enough has a thing for cross-dressing. Because I noticed every single, and I just started on the one episode of season four, which was the million dollar Tough Enough. Mm -hmm. Every season, there's something with cross-dressing. From the male cross-dressing as, as, a, as a woman. Right. Who, I want to know, who has this fantasy slash fetish? That's what I want to know. That's running the show. I... Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Trying to, I think there's like one contestant that's like really annoying. Like he's like a meathead okay. in season three. I think his name is Jonah. Yeah, he made it to the to uh, WWF New York mm -hmm. for the act. So like he made it that far. He also at one point thought he was gonna leave and then didn't leave. I almost, I, almost, I almost feel like they played Jamie a little favorably in that season, too. Because at one point she was the only woman. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like they were, like, I don't know, more favorable towards her, even though she wasn't as good. But then clearly then she got out because the fans voted her out. It was, like, the one time they did that where they said, all right, everyone, vote for who you think. Like, you get to make the cut. And they had fans vote. And they voted her off. Ah, I didn't want to run to him. Damn it. Oh, okay. There's a couple other people that tried out for season three I didn't know. All right, who you got? Melina tried. Okay. She made it to the final 25, but was cut. Sean Devari tried out. What about um, Million Dollar Tough Enough? Okay. No, that's the one I'm on now, by the way. Okay. Which I don't yeah, mind. You could do a spoil that. I think Pewter wins, so it's fine. Yeah, Pewter wins that. Miz is the runner-up. Okay. This also has Ryback. Ryan Reed. Yeah. Yep, Ryback. Uh, Mitch of the Spirit Squad. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I think I'd have to have a, like a picture of him. Uh... Daniel Rodimer? Is that the tall guy? There's a tall yeah, guy. Yeah, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think he's the tall guy. 
he ended up having a political career. Meaning what? Did he actually win the election or? Uh, let me see. In 2018, Rodimer ran for Nevada State Senate, lost to Valerie Weber in the primary election by 142 votes. That's not that bad. Yeah, that's pretty close, actually. Uh, 2019, he announced his bid for Nevada's third congressional district, lost to incumbent Susie Lee. In 2021, he announced his candidacy for Texas's sixth congressional district special election. He was noted for dramatically changing his accent and persona in his campaign ad compared to his run in Nevada. He placed 11th in the crowded jungle primary, attaining 2.6% of the vote. Mm -hmm. Crowded jungle primary. Never heard of that. Uh, Rodimer cast doubt on the integrity of the 2020 presidential election. Ah, oh, jeez, I just dug myself too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Saying... I think that we had some serious issues with this election. Here it is. Got sure, that doesn't happen again. In response to whether he believed the election was stolen. Rodimer also said of the storming of the Capitol by a mob of Trump supporters on January 6th, people come to me all the time. They say, fake Dan Rodemeyer, what would you have done differently? Well, you know what? I wouldn't have been hiding under my desk like all the other folks. I would have been out there walking to the very, very front top of the stairs saying, hey, the fact is we are all American. We want fair and free elections. First, all, no, first thing is, no, I don't think he would have. Yeah. That's number so. one. Hold on, let me just figure out what I got to do here. Slap shots. Again, I dug myself a hole, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, okay, but he's still, that's, so that's what he's, he's currently active on a political career then? Yeah. He's tried three times in two states and has lost. Okay. What states? Although, huh? What states? Nevada and Texas. Okay, okay uh, Rodemer has been accused three times of assault, but has no conviction. Okay. After an arrest on charges of battery in 2010, Rodimer entered a deferred prosecution agreement. In that agreement, he admitted to committing the offense, and upon completion of a six-week anger management training course, the charge was dropped. He was also accused of assault in 2011 and 2013, according to records from the Collier County Sheriff's Office. However, in both cases, no charges were filed. <clears throat> Lovely. Sounds like a lovely film. <laughs> I bet you're oh. glad that he didn't win then. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, now the, the other thing about this season, the, the million dollar season, is the season that who ends up becoming the boogeyman tried out. Okay. And he tried to get in, but he lied about his age by like 10 years. Hmm. Yeah, it was like a big deal, but they liked him so much that they ended up signing him to a contract. And gave us, honestly, one of my favorite gimmicks during the Attitude, uh, or not Attitude Era, but the Ruthless Aggression Era. What, the Boogeyman? Yeah, I like the Boogeyman. Bill, right. well, I may die right here. I'm not doing well. Yep, there goes Stag. And, oh. Yeah, I kicked Holy out. Kick round. Man, cold stag. <laughs> cold stag. Man, cold stag. I don't even know who stag's supposed to be, to be honest with you. I don't know either. Oh, wait, what am I doing? No, don't do this. No! I want to heal. Alright, screw it. We'll just get rid of this guy. Yeah, so I haven't. The, it's the. Million Dollar Tough Enough's weird, because it's not like the other three seasons, it's one episode. Exactly. It basically all highlights things. And there goes Brink. Oh, Brink's back, okay. 
I mean, I saw they did a thing with the Big Show. Uh, what else did they do? The thing with the thing with Kurt Angle with Daniel Pewter, which they obviously they obviously did not show that on the uh, on the special. Yeah, they wouldn't show like you know that he almost had the better of Kurt. In fact, I don't even know if they showed any of that match. They just showed that Kurt what he was doing with all the contestants. Right. We can find it on YouTube. Yeah. All right. So what am I? Where am I going? I have like no health. I can't find my way out of here. I could use another one of these boxes to heal if I can find another one. I haven't used yet. Well, what about that box there? I think it's open. Yeah, it's open. Oh. So I must have used it already. So how many other seasons are there? Because, like I said, I'm up to the million dollar one now. There are... two more. Okay. Here we go. Here's a... Oh, I thought that was a box. The next one's the Stone Cold one, right? Yep. Here's a box, good. Oh god, yep, the the Stone Cold one. So what's your favorite match of all time? Uh, Melita versus Alicia Fox? That's the only thing I remember from it, to be honest with you. Uh, I almost <laughs> feel like I wish that they, like, I like Stone Cold, but I don't know, I don't, I like the three judge thing, too. No, I yeah. Got, I have, like, nothing here. Folks, it's a good okay. chance I'll just die at some point in the next ten minutes, and that's the end of this video until next time. I have a the bad old... feeling I gotta fight this guy, but I have nothing right. that to actually heal. I'm hoping maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he is a friend. Maybe he's a nice green looking army friend that I can befriend. Actually, there's the the whole thing with Cameron. Okay. And the, and the other thing I remember from that season... Well, there's two other things. The second episode is with M-Dog 20, okay. Matt... Uh, well, Matt Cross. Mm -hmm. And he, like, tries to convince Stone Cold to keep him on the show. And Stone Cold's like, Why didn't you do it during the training? Goddamn, son. <laughs> And then the other thing I remember is at the end when the winner, I don't even remember what his name was, like he wins because okay. they announce it like on a roll and John Laurinaitis slaps the shit out of him. Why? Because he's a dick. I mean, and then, Laurinaitis ain't no better. Yeah, ex <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Stone Cold's a little bit better than him, but still. And then... There were reports, like, where he told the winner, like, you are never going to amount to anything in this business. Okay. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't remember anything. Of this. None of the stuff that you're saying to me rings familiar at all. Okay, the, the, the thing about the he'll never amount to anything, that was, like, backstage stuff. All right, here we go. So we're going to fight this army person because I don't know what else to do. And if I win, then we continue. If I lose, that'll be the end of the video. Oh, Andy Levine. That's the name. Oh, that thing does sound familiar. He's like a taller guy, right? Mm-hmm. 6'5". Oh, what? Vince is the one who gave him the slap. I thought that was Lauren Knight. Why is there a, uh... Why is there a flag as an enemy right now? Oh, I, sh I should have taken the slam shake oh, before. <sighs> Here we go. I don't think I'm winning this because I have n nothing to heal unless these guys are super weak. Well, the flag is down. Got the flag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm remembering. It's Vince slapped the winner, and then Laurinaitis is the one who told him backstage. You'll never amount to anything. Okay, now I remember. I think I have a heal. Oh, here we go. Heals one ally. I'm gonna heal Stag. He 
Castag can attack both of them with a slap shot spread. Even though this is the last slap shot spread that he has. Alright, maybe I have a shot. Gumball. Oh, there goes Brink. It's fine. There's nothing that I can only attack. Oh, oh please, easy. please let that be it. Thank God. Yeah, but hopefully I don't run into anyone else now. Because uh -huh. there's, unless it's a very, very... Alright, what's up here? Well, please let this be health. Please let this be health. No! I don't want a replica belt. <laughs> I mean, it's probably good for an item, uh, for a uh, equipment. I should probably put these on. It's probably better. No, Sergeant Hat's the best one. Alright, so we'll stick in there for a little bit longer. Um, see if I can maybe figure something else out here. I mean, they didn't even give me a chance to buy anything. Oh, man. I, you know what? Maybe we missed something. And if I go back to where we started, that port, maybe I could buy things and heal. Maybe. We never really thought to actually explore that port that we landed in. This guy leave me alone. Where was it? Is it this way? By the way, I have a prediction on the statue already for this area. I think I know where you're yeah. going with it, but yeah. go ahead. Sergeant Slaughter. It's gotta be. Yeah. Ugh, why is there an enemy? I don't want... I'm trying to go where there's no enemies. There's a thing. No. no. I, don't, I don't know what that was. Did it heal me? No, it didn't do shit. Open our box. Health, please. No, not hype. No, I'm lost. I have no idea where I'm going. I almost feel like I went a, the, a, the, the direction I want to go in because I'm finding all these things that I haven't opened. Mm hmm. Come on, health, health, health. What did that do? Nothing. Uh, no, it, uh, hype. It does hype. And, oh, wait, Brink's alive. And I don't think he was alive before, so maybe that was a little bit of help. Oh, my God. Did we accidentally go the right way? <laughs> I think we might have. I think we did. But I gotta fight this stupid guy. Hold on, I got an idea. Where's his heal? Kills one ally. Oh, you can't use it outside battle. <sighs> Alright, well, hold on. What do we have inventory-wise? Because... Slam Shake. Stag. And Brink. And we have one duct tape. We'll use it on Stag. <sighs> okay. All right, Looks like the... someone will be doing shopping real soon. Oh my god, just let, let me get through this one part. Because there's got to be a shop soon. If there's a mini boss at the end of this, I'm going to yell and scream. <laughs> so what would you say your favorite, without going into that much detail, what was your favorite episode, season of Tough Enough? I think the first one mm -hmm. was my favorite. How about, what about you up to this one? Uh, probably the first one. There's something about the first one that, I guess because maybe because it is the first one that I just have been mm -hmm. a like for, for the most part. Yeah. Slap shot spread. Alright, let's see how we do here. Can we survive?
I mean, Brink is almost dead already, but that's okay because right. I had planned for that. I'm just going to keep healing him up here. Because he's the one that actually has heal. I don't think Stag has any kind of heal at all. But Stag does have the slap shot spread. Oh no, this is the last one he has, too. That's not good. Commando Slamo. I still, I think the army people look very, very weird. I'm not sure if that is. They, they kind of do. All right. Do I have another heal? Yes, I do. One more. Yeah, but Stag doesn't even have the thing, I don't think. Hold on, let me go back. Stag has no more AP, which for the slap shot thing that I need. So I might heal Brink, actually, instead. And LF Font's not doing anything at all, by the way. <laughs> Much like Slimy. I, I, I must not understand the whole manager aspect of things. Right. Ugh, that wasn't good. Now all three of them get an attack. And there goes Stag. Alright. I got no AP. This looks like it's gonna be the end. One down, whoop de doo And dead? This is what I think is it. Oh, not yet. And dead. <gasps> Stag's back! <laughs> Maybe not for long. There he goes. Dead. Brink's oh, back! Oh, Brink! Ah, he kicked out, I think. Oh, did he? What? Well, What's going on? Can I get an attack, at least? Stand. I'm still alive though, apparently. And I'm dead again. I'm just gonna keep picking out. This is what you want? <laughs> Let's go, free. <laughs> Let's go, free. Let's go, free. Oh my god. <laughs> 108. No! Damn, I hit the wrong button. That's it, we lost. Oh well, what an end to a, to the, the video. Why are you yeah. crying? You didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> he feels his pain. I guess so. Alright, hold on. Alright, Bills, tell people where they can find you. Alright, you can find me on Twitter at House of Bill and Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. And as for me, you can find me official RP Jimmy on YouTube and Twitch. And we'll catch you next time for some more. Russell Quest.